Hmm, seems reasonable. Alright, so we're going to create a new project, and then you're going to want to ask your mom for those magic numbers on the back of her credit card. Don't worry, you won't get in trouble. And then we wait for the payment to process. So you'll notice nothing much has changed in 10 years. Now that we're here, we're going to do what we always do and create a new... Mm -hmm. Also, I have no idea why the texture turned blue there, but uh, Unity, am I right? So we're gonna zoom in here, and the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to go down and add a component. Now, another change that Unity has in 2033 is you do have to pay per component, but don't worry, it's still a great game engine. So once again, we're gonna bust out your mom's credit card. Don't worry, it's still a great game engine. There are so many cool features that make it worth the $200. So next, we're gonna create a little cube here, and then we're gonna stretch it out, and we're gonna make a platform. Now the good news about this is we don't have to pay actually for making this platform. Unfortunately though, we do need to pay to make the platform look pretty. So we're gonna create a new material here, and it is gonna pull up that screen again, but don't worry, your mom will not be mad at you. You are making the next Fortnite, so you're gonna earn her millions. Unity was very nice and they let us choose the color for free, so there's no additional payment, so we're gonna choose a nice brown color here. Now unfortunately, this will cause us to have to pay again, but again, don't worry, Unity is an amazing game engine, it will be worth it. So next, we're gonna create another material, and we're gonna have to do the same thing again. Now this is kinda starting to get old, but bear with me. Now you know the drill. Choose the color, apply the color, mom's credit card. And bada bing bada boom, we got code. We're just writing a quick script to track the player input and get it to move according to if the player clicks W, A, S, or D. Just a good coding practice tip, always call your vector Victor. Now that we're here, we want to run the game. As you can see, we have a bean controller script. When we click play, this pops up. Don't worry, this is great of Unity and make sure that we write bug free code. And as you can see, there were no bugs. So to fix this, we do want to make our move speed float public so that we can change it from the editor. So we're gonna go back over to the editor and change that because the player moved a little bit too fast. And now unfortunately, we are going to have to pay again. Man, there are gonna be a lot of charges on the credit card statement. And once we get it running, we'll see it actually looks a lot better. Now this looks like a pretty solid AAA Unity game made by yours truly. Um, if you want, feel free to expand on anything, add new features, but I think that's a fully fledged out game. So we want to create a build, and for the last time in the editor, we're going to be inputting those magic numbers. Once you do that, File Explorer will pop up. You want to create a new folder where you want the build to go. And then once you create the folder, you're going to want to click Select Folder. This tells it where the build will go. It's going to take a while to build and then you can run the project. Now keep in mind with the new Unity fees, every time someone runs your project, you get charged a dollar, but that's okay. It's worth it so they can enjoy this masterpiece. Just look at how elegantly that bean is moving around. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.